All right, I had recently just bought a new uh, Hercules uh, chop saw. It's the big one that's competing with the DeWalt high-end one. This one I got on sale for $2.99. It was regularly $3.99. And this is the Harbor Freight stand that I bought last year. I took a smaller uh, miter saw off of it and uh, just recently mounted this one to it. Just wanted to give you a little heads up on it that it's fine. The saw mounts up just fine to it. I did uh, notice that the spot that I had for the uh, tool, basically if I just put the saw on a 45 and put it in the storage, then uh, it didn't take up really any more of a footprint than my other saw. Maybe just a hair more, just a little bit more. Um, but I basically mounted it um, with bolts and I just took some bolts and uh, first off is I took the bolt and mounted it through the into the uh, mounting of the Hercules chop saw right here molded that in bolted it put a couple of fender washers so because it has some rubber feet that are right in here that uh, caused it to sit awkwardly so put a bolt on it there's your rubber foot right there and then I put a bolt with a fender washer on it and then tied that off and I did that on all four sides and it works out fine and uh, very solid on there and uh, this is just a kind of a review that the saw it's the Chicago uh, electric power tool master saw stand and uh, I've been really pleased with the saw stand it's just done a good job I had an older uh, miter saw that I'd had for like 29 years my son wanted one so I said Do you want that one he said sure so that gave me the reason to go out and buy the little bit bigger one Mine was a, the other one was a 10 inch, this one is a 12 inch, so for now. Um, the only thing is, is whenever you set your stand, you want to slide this thing out and raise it up because that makes the pivot where the saw will not fall over with this out on that. If you slide this all the way in, this whole saw will go like this and uh, it will land out like that. Now, I do have the carriage of this saw out here all the way extended here down and it is basically just touching the ground. I could bring this up right here just a little bit more and that would keep that up off the ground. But you know, hey, it's, uh, it, it's uh, I don't think it's gonna harm it in any way, shape or form. So I might just use that as a third hand on it. And uh, of course, you've probably seen the reviews on this, on the stand itself, but basically this is uh, how this works. You basically have the, the stands that are right here and they're just a button that you push clicks down locks into place like that and the pin come out and then the other one here right there so we'll push that in lock it down and, and uh, they're both popping into place now the saw is heavier and this is this saw is like 53 pounds whereas my other one was oh probably a third lighter than this one and so you know you're basically going to be tilting the thing to come up and the weight so it is a it is considerably heavier so that mean, means that you need to exercise more care on it and this is what the saw stand looks like the legs extended and you know it's it's still on the dolly so you know, you can turn it right here and roll it up in there. And, you know, basically all I'm doing is is leaning back, put my feet on the thing, and there you are. You know, that's just pretty, pretty straightforward. It's a beast. This is a beast. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, I'd be, I'd be lying to you if I didn't tell you that it was really lightweight because it's it is definitely i mean it's a heavy duty machine and you know of course the tools this is brand new i've only cut just a few boards with it to tr see how she was doing and um uh, you know so that's what she looks like on the saw and with the stand now there's a whole bunch of different makes very similar to this saw stand again when this thing's sitting out this is all the way down up and you know your your deal and this is pretty well close to that try and get this angle right here to be even with that 
And um, if you wanted to loosen this and slide this up, then the carriage would not go, um, would not go all the way down. So let's go ahead and loosen that up. And now um, this this one, this saw is not top heavy so much, but it is. So if you loosen that up and you bring it and let go of it, that whole thing's going to topple over. So you're you're dealing with you're dealing with a whole lot more stress and weight with this. And so you need to be, you know, conscious that the saw is heavier and uh, that way. So basically what I did is I increased this distance. So when I do put this in storage mode, which I'm going to do right now, and basically I'm just sliding it back to the last indent. And now this point right here would no longer touch the ground because I have it locked in. The saw is very secure, uh, works real well, and um, you know with the stand and it's a good setup so again to break it down you know all you're really going to do is bring it down and raise this up now I, you know i'd be lying to you if i told you this was no issue because you do want to put your foot down in here to keep this from sliding and i'm a i'm a i'm about a 180 pound guy so um a hunt well 200 pound so, you know, it's not a light duty thing that you're going to do. And this thing actually went down just a little bit. So I'm going to pop it back up and move it back down to the next slide position. And what I'm doing is I'm putting my foot right here. And I'm just leaning back on this thing. <coughs> and I'm rocking it way back up here. And I'm going to slide this thing down just a little bit more. So that this rocket here, now I could lock this in with the, the knob on this side, over on this side right here. I could lock it in with the knob so that the carriage doesn't slide. And you know, that's always a possibility, but I think if I just bring this up and slide this back down that way and lock in, and lock in and that will give me the clearance from here, which is the ground, where the ground is right here. So this shouldn't go down any deeper in there. Now, the carriage has a lock on it right here. So I could I could bring this up and lock it in so that it's higher. But, you know, hey, I'm, I'm for easy. And if it makes sense, I'm going to do it that way. So there we go. I'm going to bring it back down. We're going to bring it down again. I'm going to lock that in. Okay, that's locked in. That's locked in. Grabbing the handle and put my feet at the at the at the the keeper from sliding. And there. Okay. Looks to me like I need to tighten these up just a little bit because they're sliding right back down to where it was, and that's causing the carriage to come up here or. I can just realize that that's the case and put a lock on it right there and and go with that as well so you know that's kind of where we're at so i don't know if that's such a good idea i may end up adjusting this tension right here so that it's a little tighter so that it doesn't um, slide there's a tension adjustment for that anyway long story short that is your harbor stand, uh, harbor freight stand with the, the uh, Hercules on it, and um, it does a pretty good job. It's I uh, looked at a lot of the other stands, and this one's this one's got a, like a five star rating on it. It doesn't, uh, you know, it could be a hair beefier in some respects, but overall, not too bad. And then. On this one here, I'm just using my foot coming up. Like that. And just reeling it in like a dolly. And bringing her back in to storage. Like that. So there we are back in storage. Ready to go.